Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use custom code to style the previous and next options that are underneath the blog posts in your Squarespace website. These are the options that help people navigate between different articles without going back to the main blog summary. Now, all the codes I'm going to go over in this video are available in a free cheat sheet at insidethesquare.co forward slash next. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash next. I also want to mention I'm doing this in my Squarespace 7.1 website. I also have codes for 7.0 websites in that cheat sheet. So if you're working with a Brine or Bedford or Pacific or York template, one of the old 7.0 sites, you can still utilize the cheat sheet to make some cool changes to your blog post navigation options. That's what we'll call it for today. Anywho, let's hop into my demo site and take a look at how this works. So here we are inside my Squarespace 7.1 site. Now, regardless of which version you're using, reaching your custom CSS menu is exactly the same. So we'll select design and then down to custom CSS. Now, again, all these codes are in your cheat sheet. I'm just copying and pasting them right out of there. I'd like to scroll down here to show you. We have an option here to go to the first blog post in the sample or to the right to go to the third one. So these are our previous and our next. If we want to get rid of that navigation completely and just want people to see this blog post only, we can start with this first code that sets those arrows to display none to get rid of those. Now, if we want to hide the title as well, we just add a little comma and then paste the additional code and that will remove both of them or set them both to display none. Now, let's just say you like those, but you want to change the color. Let's say you want to change the color of the arrows only. This code is in the cheat sheet and I can update it to match the same color scheme that my website is in. You'll notice this is not a background color or a fill. These are actually icons. So what we need to do is change the stroke color to whatever color code you want to uh, update it to be. Now we can also hide just the title if we want to see only those new colorful arrows. So if I add that code here, oops. What was I saying? Hide the title. That one changes the color. Look at me giving away all my secrets. So if you want to change the color of the title, that'll work. Or you can set this to display, if I can type properly, display none, and that will remove the title but leave the colorful arrows. So on to my next trick, which is not a surprise. If we want to change the color of the arrows and the text, we could do that as well. Again, we just change display none to the font color instead, updating it to that new color. And then last but not least, I wanted to show you how to change the size of the title itself. If that font is just a little bit too big, you can add this code to kind of shrink it down a bit and make it a little less distracting from the rest of the article content. So this is set to one REM or the relative base font size. So it's gonna match whatever size the paragraph text is on my blog page. If I change this up to let's say 1.5 or even two, that's going to make it two times the size of the text that's on the page. And if you make a typo, like I just did right there, you can change it up to 12 and make it gigantic if you want to. Definitely have some fun with those different font sizes. So again, the codes to change these arrows and change the text of the automatic navigation for an individual blog post are all in that cheat sheet. That's at insidethesquare.co forward slash next. Head on over there and download those codes so you can get to working on your Squarespace website. Oh, most importantly, before you're done, make sure you select save so those changes will be applied to your website, okay? Thanks so much for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.